science and technology is evident since the beginning of time. New knowledge made it possible to create new things that would help people improve their everyday living. Development in the field of science has helped humans to have a better life, while advancement in technology made the lives of the people much easier by developing new machines that helped their way of living effortless. In combination, science and technology transforms the lives of humans. It helps provide growth in the field of medicine, transportation, engineering, and even entertainment that until today people are benefiting from. The development of science and technology has gone so far, tracing how it all began would give us a better idea on how it has developed since then, and what are the significant changes that has happened throughout time. And by looking back at the history of science and technology, we will be able to determine its progression. Hi everyone, I am Dave Swinaas and I am a reporter for today. So welcome to the class of science, technology and society. Specifically today, one of the interesting topics that will be discussed in this is science and technology, the world history. This discussion of course will be guided by the three main objectives and this is to explain the historical timeline of science and technology, to analyze the difference between the different periods involved in the development of science and technology, and of course to give on definitions of science and technology based on the discussion of this unit. So expectedly I'll be manifesting the different periods of science and technology. And so we have ancient period, medieval period, renaissance period, the industrial revolution, and of course the 18th and 19th century. And to begin with, let's start with the ancient period that started from 3500 BC to 580. Accumulation of knowledge and passing it from generation to generation has begun when the modern humans evolved from their hominid ancestors. They used stones as tools and then learned how to shape stones to make more efficient tools. As the tools improved so people were able to use them to fashion weapons and other artifacts from bone, antler, and of course wood. They also learned how to capture fire from natural sources such as wildfires and learned to make fire for themselves by using the heat generated by friction or sparks from stones or by concentrating the sun's heat. Science and technology is across the globe, just like in Europe, America, Asia and Oceania, Africa and Middle East. These particular mentioned continents developed science and technology during the ancient period. The second period is the medieval period from 500 to 1500 AD. This medieval period is also known as the Dark Ages, is considered to be one of the creative periods in the history of humans and said to be the start of the first industrial revolution. The term Dark Ages came up because there are few written records remain from this era and there are very little evidence that will support there was a progress in the society during the periods 500 to 1500. In the years immediately after the fall of Rome, there was a period of readjustment where medieval society was more concerned with the keeping peace and in part building the nurturing centers of learning. Despite this, Charlemagne, a medieval emperor who ruled Western Europe in 800 to 814 AD, tried to establish a scholastic tradition. The later Middle Ages, around 1250 to 1500 AD, saw advancement in the philosophy of science and the refinement of the scientific method. Far from being a backwards medieval society overshadowed by Islam and Byzantium, scholasticism acted as a nucleus for the Renaissance and the Enlightenment. 
and this was the time for discovering great new inventions in science and technology. And there were great advancements in technology and adaptation of Eastern technologies in the West, including the invention of vertical windmill, spectacles, mechanical clocks, and greatly improved water mills, and building techniques like Gothic style and a three-field crop rotation. One of the greatest inventions during the Middle Ages was the printing press of Johannes Gutenberg. In 1395 to 1468 AD or in the 15th century, it was Gutenberg who made printing mechanicized. The invention of the printing press itself obviously owed much to the medieval paper press, in turn modeled after the ancient wine and olive press of the Mediterranean area. A long handle was used to turn a heavy wooden screw, exerting downward pressure against the paper, which was laid over the type mounted on a wooden platen. In its essentials, the wooden press reigned supreme for more than 300 years with a hardly varying rate of 250 sheets per hour printed on one side. And here we come with the third period, the Renaissance, which started from 14th to 17th century. The term Renaissance is used to refer to the period of rebirth as a preparation for the 17th century scientific development and achievements. One of the greatest achievements in Western Europe during this period was the technology of printing books and other documents which helped the rapid spread of knowledge and information as well as the preservation of culture. The technology of the Chinese in preparing printed materials was followed in use by the Muslims and later introduced in Europe. And a Polish mathematician and astronomer named Nicholas Copernicus made one of the science's greatest achievements, and that is he presented the theory of heliocentric, where he based that the Sun is the center of the solar system. And Galileo Galilei was also a major Renaissance scientist, persecuted for his scientific experiments. He improved the telescope, discovered new celestial bodies, and found support for a heliocentric solar system. He conducted motion experiments on pendulums and falling objects that paved the way for Isaac Newton's discoveries about gravity. And now we are in the fourth period, the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century. People rely on their hands in doing labor works even before the machines have emerged after a century that significantly increases production output. And the final process in the transfer of doing work by the use of human hands and feet to the use of machine was called Industrial Revolution. In this period, the manual or physical labor was changed into machine-operated devices and there are three important technologies formed during this industrial revolution period such as iron production, steam engine, and textiles. Also, the invention of steamboat by the American scientist Robert Fulton, the invention of light bulb by Thomas Edison, and the invention of telephone by Alexander Graham Bell, and the first steam-powered locomotive that invented by English engineer George Stephenson. Now we are in the fifth period, the 19th century. In the 19th century, witnessed the rise of modern industry, from agriculture to industrial manufacturing and technology-intensive services, and an ending stream of new products thrown out by factories employing radically new technologies, skills, and organization drove this emerging modern world. And here are some signs in technology developments during this period. Now we are in the last drop, the 20th century. It is not skeptical that the 20th century is one of the most noticeable in the history of humans for its incomparable technological advancements and scientific discoveries. And there were a lot of new technologies made and science discoveries. 
Technology was rapidly developed in the 20th century. With the use of scientific methods and funding for research, it helped achieve the advancement of modern science and technology. With the ascension of new technology, it enhanced the communication and transportation system of humans and brought it closer to people. Military research and development brought about the rise of electronic computing, engine engines, radio and telephony enriched greatly and reached a wider population of users, though near universal access was impossible until mobile phones became affordable for the people in the late 2000s and the early 2010s. And here are some technologies developed during this period. So those are the historical timeline of the six periods of science and technology. And as you can see, science and technology has been improving over time. And to define science and technology based on discussion, it is a cultural and scientific knowledge to address human commodities in every single day to creating possibilities and life. Once again, I am Dave when I ask if you have any questions, comment below so that I can answer your questions right away. And thank you so much for watching.